Warmest greetings to all my incredible subscribers and new viewers alike. Welcome, curious minds, to our video that explores the ins and outs of brisk tradition and Solovicic dynasty. The Solovicic dynasty of rabbinic scholars and their students originated the brisk method of Talmudic study, which is embraced by their followers in the brisk yeshivas. It is so called because of the Solovichik's origin in the town of Brisk, or Brest-Litovsk, located in what is now Belarus. Many of the first Solovichik rabbis were the official rabbis of Brisk, and each in turn was known as the Briskarov. Today, Brisk refers to several yeshivas in Israel and the United States founded by members of the Solovichik family. Let's now venture into the realm of the Solovichik dynasty and explore the fascinating intricacies it holds. The Solovichik family includes many significant rabbinical forebears, such as Simha Rappaport and Haim of Volofin, famed Talmudist and founder of the Volofin Yeshiva. Haim of Volofin was a student of the Vilna Gan. The Solovichik dynasty began with Rabbi Yosef Duba Solovichik known as the Baiz Halevi as he was the first rabbi of Brisk surnamed Solovichik. More significantly, the Brisker style described below can already be found to some degree in the Baiz Halevi's works, which is not the case for earlier ancestors. All members of the Solovichik family are descended from the tribe of Levi and thus sometimes go by the descriptor Halevi. The surname Solovichik comes from the word for Nightingale in Slavic languages. It was chosen by the family because the primary duty of the Levitis in the temple in Jerusalem was singing. In this section, we'll be exploring the Baiz Halevi. Rabbi Yosef Duba Solovichik, who is known by the title of his work, Baiz Halevi, served as Rabbi of Brisk for much of his life. The works on the Mission Torah and first five books of the Hebrew Bible which Yosef Duba Solovichik authored were titled Baiz Halevi Hebrew for House of the Levitis. Many people therefore refer to him simply as the Baiz Halevi, which also avoids the confusion with his two great-grandsons of the same name, one the son of Rabbi Moshe Solovichik, Rabbi Joseph Solovichik who moved to the United States, and to the son of Rabbi Yitchak Zev Solovichik, Rabbi Beryl Solovichik, who lived in Israel. The Baiz Halevi succeeded Rabbi Yehoshua Lieb Diskin as Rabbi of Brisk when the latter moved to Jerusalem in 1876. The Baiz Halevi had previously served as the Rabbi of Slutsk, and before that, on the faculty of the Volofin Yeshiva. Let's now zoom in on Rabbi Haim Solovichik and uncover the hidden gems that lie within. The Baiz Halevi was succeeded as Rabbi of Brisk by his son, Rabbi Haim Solovichik. He is most commonly known as Rab Haim Brisk or Rabbi Haim from Brisk where he implemented an analytic method of studying Talmud that focuses on precise definitions and categorizations of Jewish law. His primary work was Chidushi Rab Haim Halevi, a volume of insights on the Mission Torah which often would suggest novel understandings of the Talmud as well. He had three sons, Yitchek Zev and Moshe and his oldest, Yisrael Gershon. Brace yourself for an in-depth analysis as we navigate through Rabbi Yitchik Zev Solovichik and its far-reaching implications. Rabbi Yitchik Zev Solovichik became known as the Briskarov when he succeeded his father as Rabbi of Brisk. He was often known by the name Velbel, a Yiddish nickname for Little Wolf. Zev is Hebrew for Wolf. He is also commonly known as the GRYZ or Hagris, an acronym for Hazen Rabbi Yitchek Zev Genius Rabbi Isaac Wolf. He became famous enough that many people, however, refer to him simply as De Brisker of the Rabbi of Brisk. In fact, many in the Brisk Yeshiva world in Israel refer to him simply as the Rov. In the modern Orthodox community, his nephew, Rabbi Joseph B. Solovichik, is referred to as the Rav. Like his father, Rabbi Yitchik Zev Solovichik published works based on the Mission Torah, often suggesting novel insights on the Talmud in the process. He fled the Holocaust and moved to the British Mandate of Palestine. His children and grandchildren live in Israel today, and have founded several yeshivas there, all known as Brisk, based in Jerusalem. In this chapter, we'll be unraveling the enigma of Rabbi Meshulam Dovid Solovichik and discovering its transformative power. Rabbi Meshulam Dovid Solovichik, known as Rab Dovid, was the son of Rabbi Yitchek Zev Solovichik. 
he was Rosh Yeshiva of Yeshiva's Brisk in the Gash Shimonim section of Jerusalem. Like his father and grandfather, he published works based on Mishnah Torah, and many of his lectures have been published by his students. He was considered by Briskus to be one of the last authentic remnants of a pre-World War II Jewish Lithuania. His students include the late Rabbi Moshe Tversky Rebbe in Yeshiva's Torah's Moshe and Rabbi Yitzhak Lichtenstein Rosh Yeshiva of Yeshiva Torah Vodos, both grandsons of his cousin Rabbi Joseph Basolovichik. He died on January 31, 2021, in Jerusalem, Israel. In this section, we'll be peeling back the layers of Rabbi Beryl Solovichik to reveal its true essence. Rabbi Beryl Solovichik, commonly known simply as Rabbi Beryl, was one of the leading brisker Rosh Yeshivas in Jerusalem, Israel. He was the son of Rabbi Yitzhak Zev, the brisker Rav, and the cousin of Rabbi Joseph Basolovichik. His son, Rav Avrom Yehoshua, succeeds him as Rosh Yeshiva of Brisk in Jerusalem. In this part of the video, we'll be diving deep into Rabbi Meir Solovichik and unraveling its profound impact. Rabbi Meir Solovichik was the son of Rabbi Yitzhak Zev Solovichik and headed one of the Brisk Yeshivas in Jerusalem, which was attended by many Torah scholars, including the current Radzina Reba, Grand Rabbi Moshe Liner. He should not be confused with Rabbi Meir Solovichik, the son of Rabbi Ayn Solovichik's son Rabbi Eliyahu Solovichik. He died at the age of 87 on April 2, 2016. His yeshiva is now headed by his son Rabbi Yechil Solovichik together with his brother Rabbi Avraham Solovichik and another yeshiva by his son Rab Velbel and his brother. As we progress through this video, let's shift our attention towards Rabbi Velvel Solovichik II and uncover its hidden depths. Rabbi Yitzhak Zev Rab Velvel Solovichik is the son of Rav Meshulam Dovid, as well as his successor as Rosh Hayeshiva of Yeshiva's Brisk. He carries the name of his grandfather, the Brisk Rav. Moving ahead, let's uncover the hidden gems within Rabbi Moshe Solovichik and discover their significance. Rabbi Chaim Solovichik's other famous son was Rabbi Moshe Solovichik. His works on the Rambam are known as the Chidashi Hegram Halevi and Chidashi Hegram Vihegrid. He served as the Rabbi of Rasain and then of Chaslavich. He then moved to Warsaw where he served as Rosh Yeshiva of Tachmini Rabbinical Seminary. He moved to America in 1929 and was appointed as a Rosh Yeshiva at Rabbi Isaac Elchanan Theological Seminary RIETS. While RIETS has at no point ever called itself a brisk yeshiva per se, it was home for many decades to Rabbi Moshe Solovichik and later his sons. His sons were the famous Rabbi Joseph Solovichik, who lived in Boston and commuted to teach Talmud at Yeshiva University in Manhattan, Dr. Samuel Solovichik, a chemist as well as a Talmudic scholar, and Rabbi Arn Solovichik, who taught at Mesita Rabbi Chaim Berlin and then at Yeshiva University. Rav Arn founded and was the Rosh Yeshiva of Yeshiva's Brisk in Chicago, Illinois. Moving forward, we'll be taking a closer look at Rabbi Joseph B. Solovichik. Rabbi Joseph B. Solovichik was a son of Moshe Solovichik. He succeeded his father as the senior Rosh Yeshiva of IETS in New York. As he rose to become an important leader of modern Orthodox Jewry, he ordained close to 2,000 rabbis over the course of almost half a century thereby strengthening his status as the Rav as he was the Ravis' rabbi. He began the day school movement when he established Maimonides School as the one of the first Jewish day schools outside the New York area in 1937 after arriving in Boston with Tommy Levitt Solovichik in 1935 to be the Marad Satra of the greater Boston Jewish community. Today, Maimonides maintains many of the Rav's radical educational posits including co-education and female Talmud study. He is often accredited with being a primary founder of modern orthodoxy, a movement of Judaism which holds that Jews must both practice a halakhic life and embrace modernity. He also gave much needed validity to the Zionist effort in his famous work called Dodi Dofek. Although he was primarily a brilliant Talmudist, his most famous works of Lonely Man of Faith, Catharsis, Halachic Man, and Ovikish Mishim are largely philosophical. A film called The Lonely Man of Faith, 
the life and legacy of Joseph B. Soloveitchik documents the Rav's life work and personality in greater detail. In the upcoming section, we'll be shining a light on Rabbi Arn Soloveitchik. Rabbi Arn Soloveitchik was a son of Rabbi Moshe Soloveitchik. He taught at Messifer Rabbi Heim Berlin and then at Yeshiva University. He eventually moved to Chicago and became Rosh Yeshiva at the Hebrew Theological College and in 1974 founded his own Yeshiva Yeshiva's Brisk of Chicago. After his brother Joseph became ill, beginning in 1986 he began to commute to New York City to lecture at IETS as well. Rabbi Ein Soloveitchik died in 2001 and Yeshiva's Brisk of Chicago became defunct a few years later as a Messivta but remains active today as a Beth Medrash under Rabbi Arn's eldest son, Rabbi Moshe Soloveitchik. His grandchildren include Rabbi Shmuel Marcus, philosopher Rabbi Dr. Meir Soloveitchik, and political analyst Nikom Soloveitchik. Rabbi Dr. David Applebaum was considered one of his most outstanding and devoted disciples. Get ready to uncover the mysteries surrounding General as we navigate its intriguing terrain. In contrast to the Hasidic movement, all of the Soloveitchik rabbis were part of the Lithuanian yeshiva movement, and thus were strong believers in a traditional Talmudic education and, to a certain degree, intellect over emotion. However, Rabbi Yosef Dov Soloveitchik made it clear that he was very much in touch with Hasidism, having lived for several years in Chaslavich, which was mostly Hasidic. In the following segment, we'll be examining Halachik in greater detail. The Brisk dynasty and their followers known as Briskers are known for a tendency towards strictness in the Halicha Jewish law. If there is ever a doubt between two rabbinic opinions, the brisk way is more likely to follow the more stringent one. They maintain that we are unable to determine halacha as following one opinion over another. They instead are stringent in the sense that they will look to fulfill the opinion of all early halachic authorities. For example, many yeshiva students will not only not shave their pay at sidelicks, as required by the Torah, but will also let the entire area grow very long, which they tuck behind their ears as required by certain early halachic authorities. These are known as brisker pios, or briskers. Following the Rav Velvel, the brisker Rav, see above, many briskers in Israel are very stringent in ritual to this trumas yumasrus in Hebrew. They repeat the Kriyas Shema many times, each time with a different possible pronunciation, in order to make sure they fulfill the biblical command. The time has come to unravel the secrets behind Talmudic and gain a deeper understanding. The innovative brisk, or conceptual, style of Talmudic analysis is described in the Brisk Method article. In this chapter, we'll be unraveling the enigma of political and discovering its transformative power. A great deal of controversy has erupted regarding the political views of the rabbis of Brisk. Rabbi Yitzchak Zev Soloveitchik and his descendants, who settled in Israel, have made their opinion clear that they oppose a secular Zionist state and thus show no support for the Israeli government. They do not follow anyone's lead and decide their opinions regarding the state on a case-to-case -case basis, therefore avoiding joining any political faction, including those who are anti-Zionist, preferring to make an informed decision on their every interaction necessary with the state. Generally, they do not support the state but nor do they support the political anti-Zionist bias. For example, they do not accept any money from the Israeli government. They are also opposed to yeshiva students having a secular college education. Turning to their forebears, Rabbi Haim Brisker is quoted with some harsh statements against Zionism, though he lived in an era when heady anti-Zionism was far more prevalent. Generally speaking, however, they are viewed as the true heirs to the Brisker opinion on this matter. In contrast, most of the Soloveitchiks who moved to the United States, including Rabbi Joseph Soloveitchik and his brother Rabbi Aaron Soloveitchik, were very supportive of the State of Israel, as well as what they perceive as a well-rounded college education. They were far more supportive than the general ultra-Orthodox American Jewry. Rabbi Joseph Soloveitchik became the accepted leader of the modern Orthodox movement, with the yeshiva he headed, Yeshiva University, becoming the modern Orthodox flagship institution. 
Rabbi Joseph Soloveitchik was the American head of Mizrachi, the organization of religious Zionists. His followers generally identify themselves with Mizrachi and are strong supporters of the State of Israel. Rabbi Soloveitchik was even a candidate for chief rabbi of Tel Aviv at one point, but was outvoted by supporters for Rabbi Moshe Avigah Amil. With regards to feminism, Rabbi Yosef Dov Soloveitchik was proud to point out that on his parents' wedding invitation, his grandparents are listed as Haim and Lifsha on one line, with Soloveitchik on the next line, centered between their names. This could be seen as more feminist than the rabbi and Mrs. So and So or in Hebrew, Plony Ben Plony Vreis are seen in many heady invitations today. However, in regard to feminism in a religiously accusing sense, i.e., where the Torah is questioned or accused of being incomplete or unfair, Rabbi Yosef Dov held that this was heresy. This outlook is quoted by many of his closest students. Today, however, most adherents of the Israeli Soloveitchiks follow the general Israeli Hedi, i.e., strongly right-wing, worldview regarding women's role in Jewish education and communal life. Rabbi Yosef Dov Soloveitchik and many of his students and descendants, on the other hand, have been guardedly more open to opportunities for women, Rabbi Soloveitchik himself delivering the opening Talmud lecture at Yeshiva University's Stern College for Women. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from my channel.